back home to L.A. after news of her mother's arrest. In the wake of the indictment, USC fired a legendary water polo coach and the women's athletic director for allegedly taking bribes. USC said there are six students in the current admissions cycle who are connected to the scheme. All of them will be denied admission to USC. On campus yesterday, students said they feel cheated. I feel for people like us who actually strive hard uh, day, day and night to just come here and learn. In many cases, fake sports credentials were the way in. Yale firing its women's soccer coach. Stanford axed its sailing coach. Wake Forest volleyball coach put on leave, leaving many wondering how they all got away with it. It's no surprise that the coaches bribe as part of this scheme. We're involved with sports that don't get a lot of attention. Squash, sailing, soccer. If the USC quarterback didn't show up for practice, someone would notice. But in some of the more minor sports, the coach is the only arbiter of who's any good. And so he can pick the spots and no one would notice if that kid never really ended up participating. But the scheme involved more than photoshopping fake athletic credentials. So you have this broker who's effectively saying, I can do whatever it takes to make it happen. You need better scores? We can deal with that. You need to be an athlete to help your application? We can handle that. And he would go and literally bribe people. Prosecutors say Felicity Huffman paid $15,000 to consultant Singer to bribe a test proctor for her daughter, who would secretly change her answers. She's out on a quarter of a million dollar bond after being cuffed and arrested. You asking for a bribe? You pretending you're above that? I got my checkbook. The star of Desperate Housewives allegedly so desperate to land her daughter in a name brand school. It wasn't just the celebrity actresses or the business leaders. This case also involved college coaches, it involved SAT proctors, and there was one man at the center of it all. Singer made all of it possible, investigators say, by funneling bribes through a fake college counseling nonprofit called The Key. This enabled the parents to not only mask the true nature of the payment, but also take the tax write-off at the end of the year. Singer pled guilty this week to all charges he was facing. Court filings suggest Singer had been scheming for decades. One father asking, is there any risk that this blows up in my face? Singer responds, hasn't in 24 years. Oh. Singer is now a cooperating witness. But just a few weeks ago, the 58-year-old was focused on building his clientele. This is a game. Just realize that this is a game. A video obtained by TMZ shows Singer in 2010 pitching himself as the star of his own reality show centered around the stresses of college admissions. While the show never sold, people did buy into Singer's idea. Mom and Dad go to a dinner party. They hear about every kid who's doing getting into this school, going to this summer program, doing this, doing that. Sunday morning, my phone rings off the hook. Why? How come we're not doing this? But after years of operating an illegal business, Singer's elaborate fraud unraveled over the course of a year. This whole scheme was uncovered by accident by FBI agents out of Boston working an unrelated securities fraud case, some pump and dump scheme. The scheme unraveled from there to become the largest ever college cheating admission scandal prosecuted in the United States. After being confronted by the FBI, Singer turned against his clients. And he wore a wire, and that is how the FBI was able to nab so many parents who were using his services. At one point, Rick Singer is overheard bragging about doing this for 800 different families, and he said it was a guarantee. There are no guarantees in how these selected college admissions, and if someone offers a guarantee, I, I would be skeptical. Ryan Taylor's company caters to deep-pocketed clients, charging one a million and a half dollars to help their child through the admissions process. What do you get for a million and a half dollars? Well, that's not our typical fee, uh, but when people come to us early on in, in, in high school or before high school, we map out what they should be taking all through, what courses they should be taking all through high schools. We map out also which testing they should be involved in through high school. But it basically overall sounds like you choreograph a student's high school career. Well, I wouldn't say choreograph. We find out what they're interested in, and then we help them get involved in activities. And yet, not everyone can afford that, which is why people are saying this: the deck is stacked against working class or underprivileged students. But not everyone needs a college counselor, 